Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, global markets reporter at NASDAQ, with daily insight on the NASDAQ 100 Index, or the NDX, which is made up of 100 of the largest domestic and international non-financial companies listed on NASDAQ, reflecting the most innovative companies across major industry groups, including computer, hardware, and software, telecommunications, retail, wholesale trade, and biotech. The NDX has been the barometer for U.S. large cap growth and one of the best performing indexes over the last decade and a half. The Nasdaq 100 finished the week of October 7th on a strong note, as we can see on the chart, with tech leading the way amid constant positive news flow from the two-day talks between China and the U.S. 55% of the companies in the Nasdaq 100 belong to the tech sector, like Apple and Microsoft. Flash forward to Monday morning, October 14th, and the deal we thought we had appears to be a long way from being finalized. China wants the U.S. to scrap a tariff hike scheduled for December, Bloomberg News reported, prompting speculation that another round of in-person negotiations is likely given the number of variables encompassing phase one of the trade deal. Now, earnings kicks off this week and investors will get a better sense of how CEOs feel about the impact the trade deal will have on business conditions and how they will guide for the rest of the year. NASDAQ 100 component Netflix reports on October 16th. Investors will be looking for the company to report strong subscriber additions for both domestic and international markets, as well as upbeat guidance from the NASDAQ market site in New York. I'm Jill Malandrino, global markets reporter at NASDAQ.